Buying a size 11 for 750. <laughs> All right, that, what? These are going for $1,050. This is go these are going for $1,700, brand new. This is the most insane mystery box I've ever received. Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at a used sneaker beater box. Now, if you guys don't know what a beater box is, essentially it's a box full of sneakers that either don't have the box, they're in used condition. Pretty much, I don't, I don't think any of them are brand new, obviously. It's called a beater box. It's basically a mystery box full of a bunch of different sneakers for a certain amount of value. This particular box is $2,000. <laughs> Now this box is from Soul Supremacy and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically an online membership website. Now this is not a sponsored video. I paid absolutely full price for this. I paid for shipping. I paid for everything on this box, but I'm just going to tell you guys the website where I got it. Basically it is a monthly membership website that gets you access to these different boxes and sneaker release so you can get a better deal. Now if you guys don't remember, I did do a beater box before. It was a $1,500 beater box. Now if you guys don't remember, I got some insane heat. No way, dude. All right, so this, this is a Yeezy 1 Blink. This shoe is absolutely crazy. Size 10, brand new on StockX, is $4,900. So now I'm excited to go ahead and get into the 2001 because I don't know what to expect. And I asked this time when I was communicating with the person saying if I could get a little bit more in my size because I had to sell a lot of the different ones last time because they weren't my size, but I was still able to make my money back. So it was all good. I've had like the same shoes on this little rack right here for so long. I think it's time to switch it up. You guys didn't see my last video. Look at all these shoes I got. I got all these shoes right here for retail this weekend. Every single one of them. Bape Ultra Boost, both colorways. Travis Scott Air Force Ones for retail. PlayStation Air Force Ones. Like if you didn't see that video, you have to go watch it. It was a crazy vlog of my weekend here in Atlanta Super Bowl I got all these shoes I could probably make a total of uh, $1,200 off of all these shoes right here combined which is nuts so let's replace these with all of these oh these are so far that a lot better. So if you don't know, the Yeezy 350 V2 Frozen Yellow winner was picked and they did contact me within 24 hours. I'm shipping these out to Germany today, actually. These are gonna be going a long way, but congrats to the winner, Jonas, I think it was his name. But if you didn't see, we did announce a off-white Volk Low giveaway. Now these retail for $230. They're an off-white sneaker that is super dope. They're size eight, but you can sell these on StockX, make like 200 bucks and buy whatever shoe you want. So this is the shoe we're gonna be giving away today. You guys know, as always, for giveaways on this channel, you have to subscribe to the channel, you have to comment down below and follow me on Instagram, but we're tracking that in the link in the top description called gleam.io all the other youtubers use it you can see when the giveaway is going to be done and see when the winner has been selected i believe because i announced the winner two days ago for the yeezy one so i gotta go check and make sure that it showed that the winner's been picked and then you guys saw how many shoes i have right now i need to get rid of some i think i'll be doing a sneaker mystery box on my website for like a thousand bucks either i'm gonna do a thousand dollar one i just do two five hundred dollars or one thousand dollar one so we'll see kind of how that goes check my website link at the top of the description all right enough talking let's open this box I actually need to enter drink real quick because I need energy to see what kind of fire we're going to get in here. All right, let's get this bad boy open. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. Like last time there were Yeezys in there. Yeezy blinks at that. The Yeezy one with Nike actually. So this is a massive box, but I think this is pretty similar size. So last time in the box, there was like a double pack of shoes where it was like a pack of two shoes that were like size 14, a little bit big for me. So I ended up selling those for like 280. I like to hook you guys up when I do these things. So here we go. We're opening it up. I don't want to look, but I want to give you guys a sneak peek as always. So you guys can see, is there heaters or no heaters? This sounds like a big box again, I'm not gonna look. So let's go ahead, see what we have. I don't wanna look in the, the viewfinder either. All right, so I feel a box here that has like an embossed something on it. Feels like it could be a Nike box, but this is like, oh no, this is a Yeezy box. It has a pull tab on it. Yep, this is a big Yeezy 700. Honestly, if these are the Yeezy 700 statics, I'd be pretty hyped because I kinda, kinda wanted those. And these are the Yeezy Boost 700 MFGS, size 11, but I don't know. Oh, these are the classic Yeezy Wave Runner 700s. These are in pretty good condition, actually. If you can see the bottom right there, these actually aren't too worn. The boost is all good. Like it looks like these could be clean and look like very near dead stock. Except this one, this one looks a little bit beat up too. As you can see right there, it's like kind of all kind of tore up. Looks like they kind of like ran it across a curb or something. First up pair of Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. I had a pair and I ended up selling them because somebody asked for them because mine were like really good condition. I barely wore them. Having something like this might be good for me though. Like something that is a little bit more worn. So it'd be more willing for me to wear it and not worry about it. So I might contemplate keeping those because they are my size and I hope most of the shoes in here are my size. So I feel another box and then there's 
something over here. I'm gonna try to guess what these shoes are. Now, this feels like a very slim box, and oh, this is definitely a Nike box. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. I just got these. If these are the sales, oh, let's see, 150, the white. Oh no, these are the OGs. Oh, <laughs> Bro, I sold a pair of these for like $400 because mine were pretty badly creased. Look at this. This is kind of worn, but these literally look like the pair that I had. And I literally immediately regretted selling them because they, I, the prices were still so high. So these ones have a goat tag in here. Come with all the swooshes too. So that's cool. Now let me compare to you guys. These, look, I literally got the sales yesterday for retail, $150. The difference in these, there's like none. Can you guys tell the difference? Like it's literally barely a different shade. And the fact of the matter is, I bought these originally for like $800 at Stadium Goods in New York. And these ones are going for about $450 now. So I'm gonna have to, I'm probably hook one of you guys up with this pair right here. I don't even, it doesn't even matter. They're like the same shoe, but now I have a lot better of choice. The one thing I don't see is I don't see the little thing on top, like the two little patches. So like this one doesn't have a patch on it. So let me pull these out and see. That might be a little bit of a devalue on it. Oh, wait. I feel, oh, nope, they're in here, cool. So we have the two patches that come along with it and I'm sure, I hope these work upside down, but it's on. Wow, dang, I'm, how did I get, I've been wanting another pair of these since I sold these and I literally have not had any pairs and I get two pairs in literally a 24 hour span. <laughs> that is nuts. So if we're looking at values, the Yeezy 700s, I'm thinking those are going for about, uh, let's say, well, I'm gonna say seven, like $300. Mm, retail's 300, so let's see. So the size 11 is going for 400 on these. So that's, I could probably sell those for easy, 325 these are going for 730 dollars in a size 10 and a half so i could sell those for a good 600 dollars, and that's a hookup price so i think that's what i might end up doing is selling these for six and keeping those because i got them for 150 and then also maybe i probably keep those so we're looking pretty good two thousand dollars i'd say combined right here that is an easily worth a thousand dollars in just those two shoes alone so i hope there's more shoes in, i mean obviously there's more shoes in here so let's see i feel a shoe with no oh ooh, that feels like a jordan one but it doesn't feel like there's a, a box with it it's just sitting there by itself but we have another yeezy it feels like yep yeezy 350 boost v2 in the blue the beluga or these the, this box is messed up the, these are a size 11 too Dude, the OG Belugas. I one thought I never had these shoes right here because the prices went nuts, going for like seven, eight hundred dollars. These are pretty badly beat up on the bottom. They look like they've been like worn a ton. Look at that. They look like they like went to like a concert or something. Those probably could be cleaned up though. They don't look like they've been tried to be cleaned at all. You know what this is actually? This looks like it had like those sole protectors on it, and it kind of got like messed up stuck on there because there's still some like remnants of it you know like that sole protector you put on the bottom it looks like it somehow ha something happened with the adhesive like they took them off they took the adhesive off and then wore them and that's what happened i think that that would make more sense because like i just saw the tag is still in here the yeezy logo on the insole is still good that's still in there and then the yeezy logo this is looks like it hasn't even been worn so that's pretty good right there these at one point were going for a solid thousand thousand eleven i don't know what they're going for now this is the first beluga buying a size 11 for seven 50 bro what <laughs> these boxes are so like and this is not sponsored i literally paid full price for this box right here i can't i can't believe that size 11 i could sell these 650 pretty easily i think i look at things from where i could sell them but i think what i'm going to be doing because i do have a lot of shoes i'm either going to be doing a big mystery box like i said or i'm going to be keeping stock and then have a huge stock of stuff for possibly keeping for some sort of web sale thing in the future so i'm gonna decide on that because i like to make my money back from the videos but we'll see now, we're right there sixteen hundred dollars four hundred dollars left and i feel like there's still like three shoes in here so here's the bottom of a shoe this feels like a jordan one ah okay these are the jordan one gatorades right here these were sitting in Foot Locker for a solid month or two afterwards at my mall at least i had them at like three stores if i know these are a size eight and a half so not my size this shoe is clean and i like the blue one personally better but like the bottom it says gatorade translucent bottom this is a cool shoe and in general i like the vibe of it because it's bright and out there but it's a little bright for my liking but still i respect the shoe it's very very cool i'm gonna put that to the side and i'm sure there'll be another one in there i <laughs> i hope there's another one in there all right we got a box here right here is this another yeezy is it i can't tell i think this is another yeah it is another yeezy so we have a yeezy 350 what is this the black red size 11 please don't tell me Ooh, dog i think these are going for an insane amount too bro i'm getting loaded off on a yeezy collection we got the tag still bottom of these looks pretty worn it looks just like average use you can see right there the laces are still tied the uppers are like perfect condition and i swear these are going for the i mean the gatorades are probably around worth like 100 bucks 90 bucks are these the core black and red yep core black and red size 11 is going 
all right, th what? These are going for $1,050. That, there's, this has to be the wrong one. Since when is this Yeezy going for so much? I'm so confused. BY9612. Bro, this is... Do I have the two rarest Yeezys that are I mean, Adidas Yeezys out right now besides the V1s? Like, these are the craziest V2s. This is, oh my, I have so many sneakers right now. It is like insane. I, I can't even tell you how many sneakers I have. And I'm just, I can't decide if I want to stock them or, or what, because like, I want to be able to wear these over time. And this box, ooh, feels like there's probably one shoe left, maybe one or two. We got Travis, Yeezy, 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 and Yeezy, and then the Gatorade. So let's see what else we got in here. I'm so, look, something red. I don't know what else. If I had to guess something, Ooh, I hit the bottom of the shoe. If I had to guess something red would be like the Just Dawn maybe, but let's see, we have the Gatorades here. I was like, is this a sock? It comes with a Gatorade towel. Ooh, the Jordan Jumpman Gatorade towel. That is cool. I don't know if they all came with this. Did this come in all the boxes? Because this is pretty cool. I don't know if this is used, but this is a, a pretty cool thing to have with it. This is something definitely goes along with it. I just don't know if this was like a sold item separately or it was something that came with each shoe. I just don't really know where this goes from here because this is straight, this is hands down the craziest box with the like the amount of shoes in it because these two alone let's say these two and the yeezys three of the yeezys are worth two thousand dollars by themselves and that is crazy i mean i guess knew they're worth that used the value goes down a little bit but luckily the only shoe that we don't have with the box is the gatorades and those are the probably the least expensive out of all of them so let's see what else we got this might be the last shoe here is it let me go and pull this out oh no <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pee my pants. I just saw an insane box. Oh my, all right, let's, God, let's pull these out. This is a Nike Presto acronym, 200 retail. Which ones are these? Ooh, these are clean. Oh my gosh. These are one of the first acronym Prestos to drop. This was the less hyped colorway out of the ones that dropped because the olive ones, I think were one of the most hyped and then they have like the bright color one. But these are a size M right here, which I think is about, yeah, 10 to 11. My size again. I, I'm, I'm honestly, honestly like in shock right now because I just got seven pairs of shoes this weekend at insane prices. And all of these shoes are like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like nervous. Now I have like the crazy, I feel like I have my grails of like a sneaker collection in the span of a few days. And there's still one more shoe in there that is crazy. Presto. The bamboo colorway. You could buy a size medium for $650. Did I pay more? I might've paid $2,500. I paid $2,000. This, these are probably $400 easy. They have the box too. $500 maybe. Like the bottom, just clean these up. Oh my. And there's one shoe left. And if you could tell by my reaction, what shoe collaboration it's from. And that, oh, there's the Gatorade laces. So these even come with the extra laces too. I guess somebody he just didn't have the box. This is an off-white box. It says Nike swoosh. So I know it's not the Carolina. Let me put this to the side. We have a Nike swoosh. What is it? You guys can check it out right there. Size 11, my size. These are the Nike Air Force One loads in the OG. Bro, I, these are beat up though. Golly, these are worn. Holy, <laughs> this is one of the, these were going for a ton of money. They're like one of the most hyped. I paid 600 for them. They went up to like 1100. Beat, oh my. So whoever had these shoes wore them and I respect them for that. I, I definitely think those could be cleaned up. But... Oh my gosh. These are going for as much as some of the Jordan ones. This is go these are going for seventeen hundred dollars, brand new. Okay, Soul Supremacy. This is the, the craziest. This box is worth like four thousand dollars. Absolutely insane. The only thing that I said when I was talking before, I said any way that we could do a little bit more my sizes, and they came with the freaking heat. What? I literally am at a loss of words. This is the for price paid. For what I received, this is the most insane mystery box I've ever received. Hands down. 1700 new. These are realistically how beat they are. Probably like 900 bucks if I if I clean them up. The Gatorades are not going for a crate. I could probably get 100 bucks. A thousand? Seven? Three? Eight? Whatever. A thousand, bro. My heart is like pounding right now. I'm about to be buying a lot of Soul Supremacy mystery boxes if I'm trying to stock what I'm trying to do in the future um, because this is crazy. Yes, they're used. I'm a person that likes to wear my shoes like these. The second I got them, I put them on. I like to wear my shoes, so this is perfect. I feel like it's like the the good benefit.
benefit if you're one that likes to wear them because you don't have to worry about the value going down afterwards because you're getting a better deal because they're used. Beater box, none of these are beat to the point where they're like unwearable. These are pretty beat, but this is perfect. These are literally were like the ones that I had that I sold. I sold them for like eight, no, I sold them for $600. Those are as beat as the ones that I had. I ended up cleaning them up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to clean some of these up. Maybe I'll do that right now and see what some of them maybe look like afterwards. All right, let's try to clean some of these up. You can see right here, these are like beat, like I was saying. The bottom of these might be able to be salvaged. You can see like the bottom of that. I'm just gonna try to clean a few of these so you guys can kind of see how it might work if you were to clean these up. Now, I've never really talked about this. This is not sponsored, but I do use Rejuvenator. Now, if you do wanna buy any of the products, I do get a percentage of that. I wanna be completely transparent, but recently they sent me out a package of a bunch of their products. I've been just using that as kind of like a way to clean my shoes because I don't clean them unless they get like really dirty like that. So I've got a few different things I'm gonna try here and see how it works and uh, see what we can do with some of these shoes because it is a beater box, but we could possibly clean up some of the things in that beater box. So I'm just gonna try to go ahead. Bowl, there's whites, there's all some. All right, I'm gonna do this collapsible bowl. I've never seen this, it's actually cool. Bowl, we're gonna take this soft brush right here. We're gonna fill it with some water and then I'm gonna spray all of it afterwards. Let me put this to the side. If you guys wanna buy any of these products, there'll be a link at the top of the description. You can use my code Harrison to get 10% off your order. They have like all the sprays, they have all this different cleaning stuff. You can check out the link in the description. Some of my good friends like Tony D2Y is an avid user of Rejuvenator, so check that out if you want to. All right, let's enter time lapse mode and see how these turn out and see if we can make anything happen on some of these shoes. I'm not trying to get these to look brand new. I just wanna clean them up so they're more presentable to wear. We'll take all this stuff out and see what happens. We're time lapsing it up, baby. All right, let's check in on some before and afters on the shoe that just dried for a minute. I just wanna do one shoe out of each of them just to do like a quick little show you guys. It took me about 15 minutes total of washing them. It was not a lot and those were four shoes. So the Air Force Ones were the absolute dirtiest. Let me take my hood off. And there was like dirt all around the edges. It's like they went to like the desert or something. If you can see, I did a pretty good job of getting it off around the edges. You see over here, it just looks really good compared to like, look around the edge of the Nike swoosh here. Can you guys see like the dirt and stuff? This was only like five minutes total of washing and I was able to get a lot of it out. Then look at the bottom look at that totally different color and i can still go hard on these and this is a white translucent bottom white clear translucent bottom so it's definitely going to be harder to clean because of that fact but i think we did a really good job i throw the laces back on these they're looking great i still need to get around the edges maybe a little bit but i just want to do quick wash then we'll take a look at the yeezys now this has like adhesive all over the bottom so this is a more of a before picture this is the other shoe as you can see right there got a lot on the boost and there's like the black markings everywhere look at the difference in this one this one looks almost look how much better that looks wow i'm not i'm so surprised and i could still go harder on these like the bottom looks so good we got a lot of that adhesive off and this pair is looking fresh like almost like very near dead stock so i'm so happy with that the akron impressos i haven't even looked at the bottom of these since i cleaned it these ones weren't even that bad but the bottom looks great you can see this one's darker than this one and i just didn't even have to do much because these aren't even that dirty it's a darker color anyway and then the travises i just went for the bottom and wow i literally i took like two minutes on these look at that look at the difference so if you do want to get anything from a shoe my coat is harrison and it gets you 10% off. This has the collapsible bowl, which is so nice because before I was using Tupperware or whatever. Collapsible bowl, you could take it with you. Different brushes. I was using the stiff brush and then these soft little mini brush for different parts, a little bit softer part. Later today, I'm gonna finish cleaning all these up and then maybe figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But I'm so happy to have all these shoes and now that they're getting cleaned up, to, oh, this looks so good. Let's end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. I'll leave a link to Soul Supremacy down below. See you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.